Welcome back to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosie Crochet and today I am very excited to be sharing with you the sleeves of the cable and crossed cardigan. Now these sleeves are worked from bottom up to the top of your arm and they are worked in turned rows which are then sewn on to your cardigan. These sleeves are designed for a standard length of arm. You can of course adjust them to fit uh, by adding some additional rows either well it'll be at the top just bear in mind that these sleeves will grow in length as you wear them which is why it is recommended that you block your sleeves to size once you've finished crocheting them now we're all going to start by making the same five rows which obviously establishes the pattern and then i'm going to go into the repeats per size which are quite detailed and they are completely different depending on which size that you are making the number of repeats that you're going to be making is dependent on the shoulder width, arm length, all based on the Yarn Craft Council's sizing. So quite a lot of calculations have gone into these. So rest assured, they should fit perfectly. If you do have quite long arms, you of course can add on an optional cuff if you want to. I don't have to, as a petite person, they come pretty much down to here. But they're designed to hit your wrist rather than come over your hands. I am petite in height, so they are almost too long for me. <laughs> but anywho, let's get started on our sleeves. Now, of course, you do need to make two of these. And as always, we are starting with our foundation row. If you have made a foundation single crochet for, for your other panels, you are welcome to do so again for your sleeves and if you're doing a foundation single crochet for an extra small small and a medium you'll be making a foundation single crochet of 34 so for a large extra large and 2xl you'll be making a foundation a foundation single crochet of 38 and a 3 4 and a 5xl are going to be making a foundation single crochet of 42. now if like me you're poised ready to start your chain you are going to be doing the following so for an extra small, small and a medium, you're going to make a chain of 35. For a large, extra large and 2XL, we're making a chain of 39. And then a 3, 4 and a 5XL are all making a starting chain of 43. So make your beginning chain or your, found your foundation. If you're making a chain, I'll see you in a moment to work back down our chain, working into those back bumps. Once you have your beginning chain, You'll notice that mine has changed colour. I've swapped balls because I have more yarn left on this ball over here and I don't want to have to fasten off halfway through my sleeve. Once you've worked your beginning chain, I'm going to flip my chain over and work into my back bumps to help make the cuff of this sleeve really nice and stretchy. Just like we've done with our panels as well, we're going to be working into that back bump of our chain. So there's our first chain and it disappears there. So this is the first back bump, sorry. So this is the second chain and the back bump where we want to work into. I do always help that first one on because it's always a little bit tricky. There we go. And we're just working one single crochet into the second chain from hook and into each chain across. I am continuing to work into my back bumps all the way down of my chain because it is going to help us create a little bit more of a stretchier sleeve just especially at that cuff. I don't want it, you know, feeling like it's choking my wrist. So continue working one single crochet into each of your back bump of your chain. And I'll see you at the end of our foundation row. Just finished at the end of my foundation row. And yes, it is a little bit twiddly, but it's not too bad. Now you can check the cuff size at this point because we are just going to seam our sleeves. So you can see that mine's a nice, generous cuff. I mean, these aren't supposed to be very tight fitting. They're supposed to be a little bit loose and comfortable. So at the end of row one, you should have the following stitch counts. Extra small, small and medium should have 34 single crochets. Large, extra large and 2XL should have 38. 3, 4 and 5XL should have 42 single crochets. Now going into row one, because that was our foundation, so this is row one, we're starting our chain of three to work our cable stitch. We know that our chain three counts as our first double crochet, so we're going to skip that stitch underneath. We skip the next stitch before yarning over and working a double crochet into the next, and we are simply working our cable stitch as normal. So we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. That's number three before working back into that skipped stitch to 
create that kind of hug across those double crochets. I've done that too tight. No, that should be fine. We're then going to skip the next stitch. You can see you've worked into that one. So we skip the next, working one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Before we work back into that skip stitch that we missed with our last double crochet. So continue across, working one cable stitch across those four sets of stitches and then I will meet you at the end where we work our final double crochet. Just working my final double crochet into that last stitch. There we are, that's not too curly. And that is the end of row one. So your stitch counts for the end of row one, you should have, of course, one double crochet at each end. So an extra small, small and a medium will have eight cable stitches. A large, extra large and two XL will have nine and a three, four and five XL will have 10 cable stitches. Phew, I always check it after I've told you what you're supposed to have. And then I think, oh, I wonder if it was wrong, but it wasn't, it's right. Let's go into row two. We're beginning with a turning chain of one. Now row two is not an increasing row. So we are just simply working one single crochet into the same as our chain one and into the top of each stitch across. So continue working one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the end of row two. So at the end of row two, you should have a stitch count of 34 single crochets for an extra small, small and a medium. 38 for a large, extra large and 2XL, 42 for a 3, 4 and 5XL. Going into row 3, we're still not increasing yet. We're going to start by making our chain of 3 and we are working our crossed double crochet row. So that chain 3 counts so we don't work here. We skip the next, working our first double crochet into that next stitch along before working a double crochet back into that skipped stitch. We're going to repeat our crossed double crochet by skipping the next, working a double crochet and then working back into that skip stitch with another double crochet. Continue to repeat that across and I'll meet you when you have just that last stitch remaining where we'll be working that final double crochet ready to go on to our increase row in row four. So I'm just working my final double crochet at the end of row three and your stitch count at the end of row three of course you should have one double crochet at each end and then extra small small and medium will have 16 cross double crochets large extra large and 2xl will have 18 3 4 and 5xl will have 20 cross double crochets now row four is where we're going to work our increase and there's going to be an increase at each end because we're going to be creating a shape that comes out like a cone with a flat top or a triangle without a, a point. So we're going to start by making a turning chain of one. We're then going to work one single crochet into the same as our chain one before working two single crochets into the next. So that's number one and that's number two. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch across until you have just two stitches remaining and that's where I'm going to meet you ready to work our next increase. So once you have just two stitches remaining, remembering that that chain three does count as a stitch, we are simply going to work two single crochets into the next stitch. So that's one and two. And we, of course, we work our final single crochet into the top of our chain three. So you would barely be able to see this increase right now. But what we've just done is added two stitches onto our row count. So at the end of row four, extra small, small and medium will now have 36 single crochets. Large, extra large and 2XL will each have 40 single crochets. Three, four and 5XL will now have 44 single crochets. Now, because we've got these extra stitches, it means that when we're repeating our cable rows, we have too many stitches. So we have a row five. We're going to start by making a chain of three. 
we are then going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. So we skip underneath our chain, we work a double crochet into the next, and then we are ready to work our cable stitch. So we skip the next stitch before starting our, our cable, working one double crochet into each of the next three. That's number three. And then we work back into that skip stitch with our cable. Oops. So all that we've done is we've worked an extra double crochet at this end. We're going to work our cable stitch all the way across until we like reach our last two stitches. And that's where I'm going to meet you to work that extra double crochet. So continue working your cable stitch across, skipping the next stitch, working one double crochet into each of the next three, and then of course working back into that skip stitch with a double crochet, and I'll meet you when you have just two stitches remaining. So don't panic if you've got two stitches remaining, you are supposed to, I promise. We are supposed to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches to finish this row. It's very different from what we've done, even though it's almost completely the same. So at the end of row five, you will have a stitch count of four double crochets, two at each end. And then you should still have eight cable stitches for an extra small, small and medium, nine for a large, extra large and two XL and ten for a three, four and five XL. Now, this is where we are going to go our own way <laughs> to make the sleeves depending on which size you're making so some sections are only for each size so you've got time stamps for rows one two three four and five and then you can see below there are time stamps for each size telling you your repeats so the only main thing to remember is there are going to be times <laughs> if you follow the rows it's going to be a lot easier to remember um, but row four is the only row you increase in and row five is when you have these extra double crochets in them. So let me tell you the repeats because once you've finished your repeat, you are ready to fasten off and we're going to be making two sleeves. Remember to follow the repeats based on which size you are making. So if you're extra small and your small sleeves, you're going to be repeating rows two to four, followed by repeating rows one to five. That'll take you up to row 13. And then for rows 14 to 45, you're going to be repeating rows 6 to 13 a further four times. Now, at the end of row 45, you should have four double crochets and 13 cable stitches. You're then going to work one final row of single crochets by repeating row two to give you a final count of 56 single crochets. So for the medium sleeves, for row six, you're going to begin by repeating rows four. You're then going to repeat row three for row seven, repeating rows four to five for those rows eight to nine. Rows 10 to 12, you're simply repeating rows two to four. For row 13, a repeat of row one. And row 14, you'll be up to a stitch count of 44 by repeating row four once again. Continuing on to row 15, you're going to be repeating row 3, followed by a repeat of row 4. And at that point, you'll have a stitch count of 46 single crochets. For rows 7 through to 44, you're going to be repeating rows 13 to 16 of a further 7 times. At the end of row 44, your stitch count will be 74 single crochets. For rows 45 to 47, you're repeating rows 1 to 3. And then finally, for row 48, simply going to repeat row two, ending on a stitch count of 74 single crochets. So for sizes large, extra large, two, three, four and five XL, for row six, you're going to repeat row four, row seven, a repeat of row three, and for row eight, you repeat row two. A 5XL, then go and check those timestamps because there's a separate section just for the rest of your sleeves. Large, extra large, 2, 3, 4 XL only are going to continue on to row 9, working a repeat of row 1. You're then going to repeat row 4. Row 11, you're repeating row 3. And row 12 is a repeat of row 4 once again. We're then going to repeat rows 2 to 9 once more for rows 13 up to 15. And at the end of row 15, you're going to split to work your own separate sleeve sizes. So for the large and the extra large sleeves only, you're going to repeat row 2 for row 16, 
repeat row 5 for row 17, and then you're repeating rows 6 to 17 a further two times, which will give you a total row count of 41. At that point, you should have four double crochets, two will be at each end, and you'll have 15 cable stitches. For rows 42 up to 52, you're going to repeat rows 6 to 16, and you'll end with a stitch count of 72 single crochets. So for sizes 2, 3 and 4XL, for rows 16 to 19, you're repeating rows 12 to 15. For row 20, you'll repeat row 2. Row 21 is a repeat of row 5. Row 22, you'll be repeating row 4. And at that point, you'll have either 54 for your 2XL and 58 for your 3 and 4XL. For row 23, you're repeating row 3. And then for row 24, repeating row 2. And row 25, a repeat of row 1. And then, just for the 2XL sleeves, for rows 26 up to row 45, you're repeating rows 10 to 13 a further five times. So that means you're going to be repeating row 4, row 3, row 4, and then row 1 five more times, and that will take you up to your final row. For your final row, which will be row 46, you're repeating row 2, and that will mean you'll end on a stitch count of 74 single crochets. You can then fasten off and weave those ends and block them to size. For rows 3 and 4XL from row 26, you're going to be repeating row 4, row 3 and then row 4. Then you're going to do row 5 before you work your repeat of rows 30 up to 45, which is the same as repeating rows 10 to 13, but this time just four more times. So for rows 30 through to 45, you're working a repeat of row four, followed by row three, row four again, followed by row one, all the way up to your final few rows, which will be row 46, you repeat row four once again, row 47, you're repeating row three, and then you'll end with row 48, repeating row two, ending on a stitch count of 80 single crochets. You can then fasten off and weave your ends, blocking those to size two. For the 5XL sleeves, you're gonna be repeating row one for row nine, followed by a repeat of row four, row 11, you're repeating row three, and row 12, you're repeating row four once again. For rows 13 to 14, you're simply repeating rows nine to 12 a further eight times. After that eighth repeat, you will have 82 single crochets, and then for row 45, you're simply repeating row one, and finishing off on row 46, ending with a repeat of row two, so your final stitch count will still be 82 single crochets. Once you've worked all of your repeats, you can, of course, fasten off and weave those ends, block those sleeves to size, because we are going to be ready to join our cardigans together. I will see you in the next video.